Two great loves that I've discovered in high school are politics and coffee. These are two critical elements of who I am today, and one would rarely think that they intersect. That's what I thought too, until Stav Shafir came along and gave Israeli politics a total caffeine jolt. Stav Shafir is a young female member of the Israeli Knesset, a star to be sure. She's 30 years old and is shaking up the government for the better. Stav boldly redefines feminism and Zionism and is an inspirational young feminist with whom I'd love to share a cup of coffee. My experiences visiting Israel as a young Jewish woman have been fairly decaf, as I have been hushed and forced to wear a skirt more times than I can recall. Israel is an intensely gendered society, and in most walks of life, women, through blunt and, though blunt and forthright, are usually treated as inferior. Aware of this blatant inequality, it's easy to lose faith in the nature of the, of the Israeli political system. I consider myself a Zionist, one who loves the Jewish homeland and who always will. However, it's important to me that these women also see an engaged and politically active future for themselves. Yet, in Israeli political life, so few do. Enter Stav Shafir, a breath of fresh air and a long overdue liberal female voice. Upon first being introduced to Shafir, my decaf view of the Knesset got a few shots of espresso. I've always felt completely iced out of the Jewish spiritual experience in the old city of Jerusalem, but with her avid support for women of the wall, Shafir enabled me to experience a renewed sense of hope for women at the Kotel. This allows me to imagine a more inclusive future for women in Israel. Stav recently proposed a legislation that would allow same-sex couples um, in Israel to receive government recognition for civil unions. In many ways, Stav speaks to the truth and power, and, and she's not afraid to talk honestly and openly when necessary, and even to rebuke the Prime Minister. Even in the Israeli political experience, the role of women is marginalized. There are so few women, and even fewer younger women. At a grassroots level, women are natural activists, demonstrating what's just and ethical. But in order to rise up, one requires, among other things, serious money. Additionally, um, women are frequently provided with fewer financial and career opportunities. So the fact that Stav Shafir's voice has overcome her small paycheck is truly refreshing to Tilly's to today's political world. Thanks to Stav Shafir, I can one day hope to walk down the streets of Jerusalem with my head held high to pray at the Kotel with the same privileges now only afforded to men. She is going places in Israel and changing the country for the better, and I'll be watching her work and benefiting from the change that she will one day undoubtedly bring about. I'll be in her corner and she'll be in mine. And one day, I hope Stav Shafir and I will share a fair trade cup of joe at last. <laughs>